Hello and welcome to another episode of the Ableton Live 9 Quick Tips. This time I have a workaround for all of you who only have the standard version of Live or basically anyone who doesn't have the sampler but would like to use multi-sample instruments and you know basically create your own as well. So um, the way to work around this is by simply using the instrument racks and with simpler presets that contain different sampled notes and then adding them to the chains. I've actually already added an instrument rack I built myself that I needed for a live performance ages ago um, where I had recorded a real upright bass and then also wanted to be able to play that in live performance without having an actual bass player with me. And I didn't have sampler back then, I didn't have the suite. Um, so um, I just used um, part of the samples because my laptop back then was pretty old and um, I needed to make sure that everything worked. So I only used two samples per octave, added them in the chains here. Then you can adjust the settings so that the, l the level is roughly the same if one sounds more quiet than the other one. And then the last thing you have to do is click here on key. And then you can choose which nodes a sample should represent, should be played then. And um, so simply drag an ending here. You can, if you want to, depending on what you do, also choose to kind of have an overlap and then have it fade. You know, depending on what kind of sounds you use, you should just go by ear every time. Yeah, and that's basically it. Then now I'm just going to undo the last two steps. Nope, three. Um, and just play a little. As you can see, depending on what notes on my keyboard I'm pressing, different samples are triggered. So um, it sounds better, definitely, than if you have just one sample representing the whole scale, because then it'll sound out of tune and sound wrong. Okay, I hope you found this helpful, and I'll see you next time. Bye. If you're new to Ableton Live or Push, then check out my online video courses, more information can be found on my website sonicbloom.net slash courses.